I'm using Rosa Hip in my practice today to integrate robotics into my present workflow of anterior hip replacement uh, in the supine position with fluoroscopic assistance. I, I find that Rosa Hip uh, paired with one planner hip preoperative planning software really adds a preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative ecosystem to the current care for total hip arthroplasty patients. Uh, the Rosa Hip application intraoperatively works in conjunction with my uh, present fluoroscopic workflow. Uh, I have the ability to take uh, seven total fluoroscopic images intraoperatively, um, so it does not add much to the time of your overall case, but adds the accuracy of the robotic assistance with cup placement, uh, as well as uh, actionable intraoperative data, including leg length, offset, and other parameters associated with uh, total hip arthroplasty. I feel that Rosa hip application brings a number of advantages to my patients. I can preoperatively assess the components that I'll be using uh, intraoperatively. I can then use the robotic accuracy uh, for component placement and assessment of the final construct before leaving the operating room. And then uh, from the data that's derived from preoperative planning as well as the intraoperative execution, I have data that I can track on my patients through ortho intel and the overall ecosystem with Rosa Hip application to have meaningful data that I can uh, then uh, give back uh, to my patients and help them through their continuum of care. I feel that Rosa Hip is precise and personalized for, for several reasons. Precise in the robotic uh, assisted placement of components on the acetabular uh, and then on the femoral side getting leg length and offset. Uh, this has been shown uh, to be reproducible, re reliable, and accurate uh, in testing. I think it certainly offers a very personalized aspect to care. Uh, we have the preoperative uh, assessment of the individual patient. I have other adjunctive features like spinal pelvic alignment to assess and place patients in different buckets from hypermobile spines to stiff spines. I can take that data and then feed it intraoperatively into the ROSA hip application through the one planner hip system to personalize that individual patient's uh, prosthesis, but then also certain parameters associated with that patient uh, to really give them a personalized experience uh, at the time of surgery. I can then tailor uh, data from the preoperative uh, episode of care to the postoperative uh, episode uh, in uh, really taking some of this data from my mobility and other uh, data elements and really carry this through the surgery and into the post-operative period. So the Rosa Hip application has a very personalized workflow and, and, and should be an extension of the surgeon's current uh, workflow uh, associated with anterior hip replacement. Uh, the anterior hip replacement can be done on a fracture table such as a HANA table or it can be done on a regular operating room table. Really you know, personalized or tailored to the individual uh, surgeon's preference for how they normally would perform their anterior hip replacement. Uh, using fluoroscopic guidance, uh, we ask that the surgeon obtains good quality images of, the, uh, of a standardized AP pelvis, as well as an AP hip x-ray. And based on these baseline x-rays, as well as key validation uh, and navigation images that are generated with robotic assistance, that really helps that surgeon uh, fine tune cup placement, but then it has also implications for generating meaningful data from a leg length and offset perspective uh, once the final construct is in place. So the, the robot uh, in a very time efficient manner uh, allows the surgeon to add the benefits of robotic assistance and meaningful data capture uh, with actionable data items uh, and really not extend the length of the, the a, a typical procedure for that uh, surgeon. I'd give uh, several pieces of advice to the surgeon who is interested in Rosa Hip or certainly just starting out uh, with implementing Rosa Hip in, in his or her practice. Uh, I would say that uh, in the current application workflow, I would like the, the surgeon to be comfortable with an anterior-based uh, total hip approach using fluoroscopic guidance. I think adding Rosa hip application into that workflow is a seamless integration, um, but I would uh, really encourage that surgeon to be familiar with anterior hip uh, replacement surgery, as well as getting uh, uh, good quality x-rays and fluoroscopic images uh, at the time of the surgery. If that surgeon is comfortable with anterior hip workflow, as well as interpretation and obtaining good quality images, uh, the Rosa hip application is actually a, a seamless extension of that and really is a, a quite easy uh, application or introduction into that uh, surgeon's practice. 
There's no preoperative CT that's needed. There's no pins or additional exposure that's needed intraoperatively. It's simply using the fluoroscopic guidance that a surgeon is used to using in their anterior hip workflow and then applying the robotic uh, application principles and then really getting a lot of meaningful data throughout the procedure. And I think interpreting that meaningful data uh, is, is helpful and, and provides a very personalized solution uh, for that particular patient and that particular surgeon. My current construct in the majority of my hip replacements at, in primary hip replacements at this time is a Avenir complete collared stem uh, paired with a G7 uh, acetabular system uh, using highly cross-linked polyethylene uh, and a ceramic head for the majority of my patients. Uh, I find the compaction broaching philosophy of the Avenir complete stem uh, paired with a collared geometry which affords extreme axial and rotational stability allows for bone preservation but also solid fixation and reproducible results. I like the broaching aspect in the system that's been designed with the Avenir Complete System. I like also working within the Avenir family of uh, different stem geometries that are available to me in terms of neck shaft angles. Um, and then on the, on the acetabular side, the G7 cup has really been a, a workhorse for me. It offers a tremendous amount of flexibility. It offers uh, adequate sizes and uh, head to shell size ratios, and then offers the ability to use a dual mobility articulation if needed in selected patients. I'm really excited about the ZB Edge uh, offering uh, that Zimmer Biomet has at this time. I think it's we're really at an exciting time point where we're now marrying uh, solid implants, uh, industry-leading implants, uh, with really actionable data and meaningful data that's going to be helping our patients. Uh, the ZB Edge platform offers the ability to link preoperative data with now robotic e execution and the data that's derived at the time of surgery and take that and couple that with post-operative data to follow our patients throughout the continuum of care. I think this data really offers us the ability to start thinking in bigger picture, start understanding the patient not only on the individual level, but also in themes and in, in certain buckets of, uh, uh, of patient activity, patient expectations, uh, and then also understanding uh, in the future really where we might take this. It's, it's really exciting that uh, Zimmer Biomet now offers this ecosystem uh, of digital benefits to the surgeon and most importantly to the patients.